this goes along with what I spoke to earlier with the, kind of the timeline of your business and who you should hire when. If you're just looking to hire one social media expert, don't. <laughs> That's really the, the best advice I can give because you're absolutely right. You, you can't validate their expertise, so you would need to find other social media experts to validate that person's expertise. Um, of course, you know, just like anything else, we go off resumes. Just, you know, you're hiring account managers or anyone. How do you validate their expertise um, if, that's, if that's not your particular field, if you might just be HR? So there are obviously some things you can do, and it starts with you doing your research. So you can do your research and find out you know, what makes a good social media manager? What type of experiences do you want to find out if they've had? So where have they worked and under what context? Have they, have they worked for firms as the only social media manager? Or have they only been on teams before? So I would say if they've only ever been on a team, a social media team, they might not be autonomous to manage your entire business on their own. So I would definitely do that type of research. And you also want to find out what their expertise is on which social network. If they can't speak to that, that's a red flag. But you want the social media managers to be able to have certain expertise, whether it's on Twitter or they're comfortable more with Facebook advertising or campaigns or things like that. You want to find out what their expertise is specifically. Can we follow their social trail online? Is that oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is another huge recommendation. If you visit their social media and you're not impressed, that is a huge red flag. You should absolutely be impressed by what you see online. It's, it's just like asking anyone for a portfolio. If you're hiring a web developer and all their websites don't really look as, as great as you might want the quality of your website to look, that's going to raise a red flag to you. And social media should be the same way.